He didn't realize it. From that day to New York, he lost his job after he used a racial slur on me. When he insists <sighs> Dad calls. Mom canceled their layover, so they're going straight from Seattle to Miami. <sighs> Thought for sure they'd make it a point to be at my last game of the season, but looks like that means you gotta go all out for me in the stands. I'm talking bullhorns, sirens, pom poms. I want it all. Celeste, are you good? 51 on one. What? What? Were you not listening to a word I said? Miss Common, I heard you. Mom and Dad canceled the layover, so instead of being courtside at your seniors' night and my recruiters' meet, they'll be in Seattle. What's new? I'm just saying, they spent eight months out of the year on an airplane. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if they missed our graduation. No. With both of us being valedictorian, they'll be front and center for sure, acting like they've been there every step of the way, knowing damn well we basically raised ourselves. No, for real. Remember we burned out the kitchen down? <laughs> yes. Wait, where were they? Detroit? No, Toronto. Freaking Vancouver. <laughs> Here yes. we are, two 14-year-olds, calling them yelling and screaming, and all they do is book us a hotel room at the Marriott. Wait, we basically stayed half the school year in the presidential suite. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. Oh, sweet life a second Cody face ass. <laughs> oh. We really all we got. No, for real. Day ones. Since birth. In the womb. Hey, look. I'm about to go to this party. You should come. Boy, it's almost 1030. I'm not about to go nowhere. Here go Grandma Celeste with the excuses. Your little friends will be there. Plus, it's Friday. You don't have nothing else to do. I'm watching my film from last week's meet. My split for the 4x4 was way too high, and I need to be ready for Saturday's showcase. Celeste, your scholarship to Yale is for academics, not athletics. And plus, you won first place, so what are you even talking about? Look, finishing first and hitting a new PR are two different things. Stop being lame. It's not even a party. It's more of like a little kickback. Plus, when's the last time we went out together? We've never gone out together. Exactly. Think of it as a pre-celebration for our last games as high school athletes. Well, look, I'm about to head out, and I'll probably just crash up Jason, so make sure you set the alarm. Oh, so you're going to abandon me too now, huh? Or you can just come. <laughs> I'll see you sometime tomorrow. Love you. Love you too. Don't do nothing stupid. Been lied to, hoes coming in like a drive through Making big moves like a boss do Nigga snake then won't talk to him. No, I treat the game like a walkthrough Put the pressure on to make a fall through You can come around, bring your friends too Let me show you what a hundred bands do That's all, I'ma say Bruh, I know you see me calling you And I know you ain't still watching your film The little friend asked about you Told you should've came Call me back <laughs> Oh, oh, you good? What? I think you need to be done for the night. What? I said, I think you need to chill out, man. <laughs> what you mean? I was just having fun. Yeah, too much fun. You ain't even 18 yet, let alone 21. Uh, remember? This is only my second cup. And it needs to be your last. You already had five shots straight. You don't always gotta be drunk to have fun, bro. Uh, I'm good. Actually, <laughs> I'm not. I gotta pee. Where's the bathroom? Yeah. I'll be right back. <laughs> Bro, where the bathroom at? That is not 
not the bathroom. Oh shit. Oh. Hey baby girl. You have to shoot in the hallway. Oh uh. Hey, blow him back out, fam! Hey, don't let up! <laughs> hey, hold up! Y'all finna go in there? Y'all wildin'. Yo, you, you heard what happened to that girl at the kickback last night? No, what girl? I don't know, one of my homeboys texted me saying some girl got raped. What? Raped? Bro, raped. First they saying this dude raped some girl, then he let his homeboys run the train on her and they filmed the whole thing. Oh, no, nah, that's that whole shit. I'm saying. How you get a train ran up? Yo! I walked in on that. What? Remember when I went upstairs? I bust in on some dude banging the hell out of shorty. Buddy was about to break the headboard. Bro, you walked in on them raping her? No, why, why you ain't stopped it? That's what I'm saying. It wasn't rape. There was no screaming or nothing like that. I'm not sure about the whole train thing, but females love to cry rape every time they get exposed for being a hoe. Trust me, if she didn't want it, she would have stopped it. Yeah, and she didn't go to the police or nothing, so you do got a point with that one. Hell yeah, I got a point. And even if she did say no, once those lights go off, all that no shit go out the window, you feel me? <laughs> Celeste! I'm home! Celeste! I know you're not still sleeping! Hey, blow back out, fam! Hey, don't let up! <laughs> She probably wanted it. Well, what was she wearing? He would never do that. She just wanted attention. I mean, he's my best friend. He would never do anything like that. Well, <laughs> what does she expect? Every 73 seconds, an American is assaulted. Blur tackles the nuances of victim shaming during non-consensual sexual acts. 
Too many times people are shamed in the silence. In order to help end rape culture, you must hold your peers accountable. Rape culture is not a myth. It's real. And it's dangerous. My name is Mark, and I play Jason. My name's Terrence, and I play Calvin. My name is Jabria, and I play Celeste. If you or someone you know has experienced sexual assault, please call the National Sexual Assault Telephone Hotline at 1-800-656-HOPE to speak to a trusted professional.